What's up folks, Melvin here back again with another video and gosh, talking about topics like these are very, very difficult because uh, they're just very controversial and you're, and you're just not going to get everyone on your side. You know, when you talk about nerdy topics, you know, even though people may disagree with you, it's like, who cares? But since uh, the topic I'm going to talk about is, you know, real life and it affects people and, you know, a person died because of this it's like it's very hard to talk about and you're never going to seem like a good person out of this situation but you know this is important because we're talking about free speech and i think free speech uh it, you know we have to we have to talk about it you know because it, it affects every, free speech affects every single person every single company literally everything you can think of in the united states free speech is a part of it so we need to talk about it so i i'll say right now i am not well educated on the situation partly because i really don't care and then the other part is that a lot of people i feel like are just like not doing a good job of you know uh kind of reporting on it in the first place i think a lot of people are doing a really bad job of reporting on it so let's just talk about it so uh, the situation in charlottesville i think that's the name of the, the, the town so they were trying to take away a, a thing of robert e lee uh and, you know, people got mad. People got really mad and they started protesting. Uh, and, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a bunch of people who were white nationalists and, and you know, uh, white supremacy and things like that. So that was, like, the group. And, and a lot of them weren't ashamed of doing it. Uh, there are some problems. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, I understand, like, the part of, like, you know, being proud of where you come from like everyone should be proud of where they come from no matter what i don't think white people should be ashamed of where they come from nor should they look at their race as just nothing but racist i do not think the race as a whole is racist. i don't think any race as a whole is racist of course every race is going to have racist people and we're going to see that one way or another we're going to see that either on the news or on social media there are like everyone has racist don't don't please don't assume that only white people have racist just because in the united states we had slavery please don't look at that slavery is gone slavery is done we're still going to have races we're still going to have kkk we're still going to have nazis like that's the world we live in we do not live in a world where we're going to agree with everyone we live in a world where people are free to come up with their own thoughts and conclusions to how life works and some people have decided that the world of nazism the world of communism those are what work for society and they want it to work for society and they want to encourage it as much as possible if that's their end decision that is fine they should be allowed to express that so in terms of people going out and protesting on the fact that this monument was taken down they have the right to do so and i feel like the way the news has been reporting this is that Every, the people of the KKK have been the ones causing the violence and that's partly true but I think that's that's grouping up more people than it should I feel that most people who were protesting about the monument they were trying to do it as peaceful as possible with tiki torches which that part is weird but they were protesting and they were just you know they have the right to protest everyone has the right to protest anyone and then what happened after that which is which is what not a lot of news stories are reporting is antifa you know coming in and like also which is protesting you know the, the white supremacists protesting which that part i i don't approve of i i i do like i think it's okay for another group to also protest about what another group is doing that that part's fine but to meddle into what they're protesting i don't think that should be allowed i think i, I don't know like this is a, this is something I, I might need to have more discussions with with other people uh but i just don't think two protests that are against each other should be getting so close to each other i feel like if two groups want to protest on the same day they kind of have to be separated a little bit they kind of have to be in their own separate groups uh because they're just gonna you know, they're kind of clash with each other but i don't know that that can also bring controversy because uh 
uh, like it, it's going to sort of put them themselves in kind of like a bubble and like a you know like a and that's a, that's a bad thing in terms of freedom of expression and freedom of thought. You don't want to be put yourself in a bubble, but at the same time, these two protesters that hate each other, they're going to start fighting. So I don't know. This is one of the problems, man, that I, I see with that. But yeah, I feel like those people who did protest about that, they are allowed to protest. And then when Antifa came along, that's when things became violent. And no one's really talking about that. They're, most people are just talking about the KKK part. And, and th this is where I have to give, tr you know, Trump props. He said there was, you know, violence and, and bad things on, on all sides, on many sides. He, he wasn't specifically just saying KKK. He was saying more side. And I feel like that was kind of the best approach to take it because we, he ha it's like, I, I've always been told this as a young child, it takes two to tangle. So it's, it's not just kkk members that are being violent it's not just white supremacists that are being violent it's other groups that are being involved that wanted it to be violent that made it violent and no one for some reason no news organizations really talking about that and i don't know why i don't know why they are is it because they want to make kkk members look bad because they already look bad and, and that's another problem I think we're having in the United States is that people are assuming that just because some KKK members are speaking up, that that means suddenly the United States is racist. Um, that part, I just do not understand where that is coming from. Just because we have a vocal minority speaking out because of a certain president trying to get in because they wanted a certain president in and they got that president in doesn't mean America's more racist, you know, like I, I, I will need some, I'll need to see some more evidence that America's suddenly more racist before you make those accusations. Uh, because now in 2017, for some reason, everyone's just accusing people uh, of being racist. And it's a very, it's a very, it's a very slippery slope you're going into when you just start calling people racist, like just flat out there, because like, you kind of have to give them a specific, like, you have to convince us, like, why are they being racist? What did they say? What did they do? You know, you can't just muddle everyone in to racism and things like that. So, you know, for the white supremacists, in a way, yes, like, I can see why they're being called racist. And in some ways, yeah, they are being racist. I, I can see that. But the one thing that the people have to understand the most is that racism, in terms of how you think, so if you think white people are the dominant group, that is not illegal. It is not illegal to say that in public. Uh, it is illegal to do, kind of say that in like a, a group, like in a work organization. So some people have been fired. That part, I can kind of understand why. I, actually, I can't understand why, you know. It's just not good work dynamics, you know, when you work with, a, with someone who... But yeah, that, that's that's kind of getting off topic. It's not illegal to have bad thoughts. It's not illegal if someone, like just in in a New York apartment, like this a random forty year old, is always having dreams about shooting people up and like just you know going gunning people down one day in the streets. That is not illegal. It is not illegal to think things. So if people want to think that white people are the dominant race, they are allowed to think that and they are allowed to express that that so i don't know it's 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 a very i i understand that this is i'm like I, i'm mumbling because i just i don't know what to say about this but i feel like i have to say something i feel like i have to again like i think it's obvious to see that, that i'm not nazi kkk anything like that like i don't know why anyone would accuse me of being in any of those things or sort of like an apologist or anything like that like why why i'm i'm dominican like why would i apologize for for nazi like why am I? Why would I be an apologist for anything like that? But I think if a bunch of Nazis want to protest about a statue being taken away, I think that's fine. It's not illegal. It's a horrible thing to to to, to admit in public. It's a horrible thing to admit. Uh, but we we gotta let them speak. We gotta let them speak. We gotta give like they they have it just like us, just like any other citizens. They have the right. To protest peacefully and then after their protests we can you know protest that nazis are horrible but i don't know why you would protest that nazis are horrible because it's kind of obvious and i think it's obvious to most citizens i think it's obvious
it, it sucks sometimes because and, and one of the main reasons why I have to talk about this is because I have friends I, like I made a joke one time like because I was like I was like what are white people most known for and I said and then someone said being racist and then I I, I rolled my eyes and, and, but he didn't see that because we were texting each other and then I said no like that I know I can see that as being a, like a United States thing like you know like that's the stereotype of the United States but what about the whole world oh I see being racist and I didn't say anything I did not I did not say anything but like come on please like that is I don't know I just think it's stupid to think that way I really think it's stupid to think that, that way if he was trying to be funny I understand that like if it was just trying to be a joke like yeah I could, I could see that as being a joke I could see that as being funny uh I didn't get it I didn't get that he was being sarcastic but yeah I mean if that's what he was trying to get at then that's fine but if you're if you really mean that if you really think white people are just known for being racist I, like I don't like we 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 have a big problem. It's it's a much bigger problem than just politics. So I don't know what's the end goal here. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. Uh, I don't support both sides. I don't support Antifa and I don't support uh, you know white supremacy. I don't support that. But I support both of their rights to to speak to protest. I support that as long as it's not violent. I support that. I support a communist's right to speak. I support anyone's right to speak. As long as they're an American citizen, they have the right to protest. They have the right to organize. I, Because I, I, if they don't have that right, why why should I? If they don't have the right to speak, why, why should I have the right to speak? If they don't have the right to protest, why should I? Why? Just because I have better thoughts than them? Like, how dare I think oh, that my thoughts are better than theirs and that I should force my thoughts onto them? I, 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 I don't believe in, in the thought of forcing thought, which means like, oh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can publicly speak, but you can't say this, 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 or that, you know? I, I believe that in terms of, like, you know, in terms of harm, like, if, you're, if what you say could show harm, like a threat or something like that, then, yeah, don't say that. But if it's not like a threat or anything like that that's not against the law you can say whatever you want and we we really have to remember that we have to remember that that they have the right to speak just like us and if they don't have the right to speak then why why do we why do we have the right to speak what makes us more american than them you know like i don't know that's just a, that's just a thought and i i hope people don't take what i'm saying the wrong way because i like again how what, what what about me like I, I think there's an obvious sign here that i'm not a white supremacist in any way I'm not a nazi I'm not a kkk and I I, I I i hate that i have to repeat that i hate repeating that because why should i why do i have to why do so many other youtubers who are white have to to, to repeat that oh it pisses me off and i i don't know what the answer is i don't know what the solution is but we got to find a solution we have to find one eventually and uh i'm willing to wait for for that time i'm willing to wait i know it's going to take some time i know that the solution is not going to be solved in a day this so this this what, what happened there those riots those aren't that that's you know it's it's pushing us back you know we're gonna have to find time to keep moving forward and we're gonna have to find i think the one thing we desperately need is that we need people like me who don't support either side to talk about what's going on and how we feel because now that riot is sort of playing a manipulation game that like oh since we defend their right to protest that somehow makes us a part of that group and i think people like me have to stand up and say no like we're not a part of that group but they have the right to speak they have the right to protest as long as it's not violent they have the right and i think some people just aren't getting that i don't know there's just something about that so yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. I know this is a very heavy topic. I know I'm not the guy to bring it. I'm definitely not the guy. I'm not an expert. I'm not even an expert on what's going on in the riots, but I feel like this is something. I feel like this is a, a tiny push. It's like a, I don't know, I can think of like a mice pushing a huge wheel of cheese, you know? That's going to take him a very long time to get that in that tiny mouse hole of his. But eventually we will. We will get that wheel of cheese back into that home of the mouse and and tom won't know what hit him so there i ended it on a good joke so with that said i hope you guys take care of you have a wonderful day 
Uh, let me see. What does this look like with Flash? Do I look better? I don't know. I can't tell. But with that, <laughs> I'm just playing around with stuff because I have nothing better to do or to say. So with that said, I hope you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. And until next time.